Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV and more importantly, Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm really excited to show you a Renegade versus Renegade comparison. So today we're going to take a look at the Valencia versus the Verona. Uh, both of these are bunk models just to kind of keep things similar. And again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. And my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Now, please keep in mind, these are live videos. So if you've got any questions, feel free to chime in. But if there's something that we miss, always reach out to me by either voicemail, uh, text, or email later on in the week, later on in the day. And I would be happy to get back to you uh, with any answers to your questions. You can also put co comments in the videos below. And you can find a lot of videos uh, by TransWest at TTTRV on YouTube. And you can find my videos at RVs Inside Out. So Jody, as usual, go on, take her on back. Let's start this video from the inside out. And you'll notice as Jody's walking down the hallway here, this is with the coach completely closed. And I just wanted to show you the access point that you have to that bathroom there. Um, I think that that's really important uh, to see that you have really good access to be able to get into the bathroom uh, and into the bunks while you're in motion. So that's great. And then I also wanted to kind of show today what it looks like when this slide is coming out. So you can see here, uh, again, we're just going to do a comparison of the two bunk models. Uh, the bunk models tend to be our most popular selling models. Uh, a lot of times, I think, because of the fact that you don't have to have kids to use a bunk. You can just have like a lot of snowmobiling gear, hockey sticks, uh, fishing gear, whatever it is, bikes, uh, whatever it is that you might like. So the bunk model is a pretty, uh, pretty popular option. Um, you'll notice today that in both of the bunks that we're going to look at, there's windows on both sides. So you've got top and bottom windows that do open. Uh, we have USB ports and 110 outlets as well. Here we have a light. And then on the right hand side here, we also have our Jensen uh, Insignia TV. So this is going to be a nice 19 inch monitor. Uh, and in this model, we have these drawers here underneath. So lots of storage, there's three drawers that are identical the whole way down. And you'll notice when I close these, these are all soft closed doors. Um, one of the things that's important to understand when you're comparing a Valencia versus a Renegade uh, Verona, both of these are fantastic models. Both of these have this really amazing solid uh, maple cabinetry. Uh, lots and lots of really nice soft closed drawers throughout the entire cabin. Um, you've got a hanging rack here with an LED light built in. So the quality of this coach is really, really high, whether it be a Renegade Verona or a Renegade Valencia. Um, some of the differences are going to be more in towing capacity. So the Verona is going to have a 20,000 pound towing capacity, where the Valencia will have a 12,000 pound towing capacity. And then the next difference is going to be in the GVWR. So the gross vehicle weight rating is going to be pretty substantially different between the two. Um, one of them is going to have a GVWR of 40,000 pounds, that's the Valencia. The Verona's a 43,000 pound um, gross vehicle weight rating, uh, 43,300 I believe. But one of the big differences is gonna be the GCWR versus that GVWR. So the GCWR uh, on this coach is 46,000 pounds. So again, GVWR is, uh, sorry, 33,000 pounds uh, versus 46,000 GCWR. And um, that's going to be a big difference because you've got 34,300 on the Verona with a 60,000 pound G GCWR. So big differences there. Um, I've got to get my paperwork for that Verona, make sure I've got those numbers right. But once again, the big difference is going to be uh, towing capacity of 12,000 pounds there. And then you'll notice little things like you've got a really nice uh, nightstand on either side of this bed with two uh, USB ports, 110 outlets. Uh, in the Verona, we're going to have a window up here. And then we're going to have a, um, a we're going to have a nice little uh, place to put your nightstand or a nice little place to put a higher nightstand water bottles, but only one uh, nightstand in the Verona uh, because the washer and dryer unit is actually in the bedroom. Uh, you're still going to have a really nice bank of cabinets up here above. Uh, you've got three reading lights instead of two, which is also nice. Um, and then again, you're still going to have your king size bed. Uh, in the Verona and in the Valencia. So both of them are going to have really good sleeping accommodations. Um, they also are, are going to both have three, ward, uh, three hanging wardrobes 
TV in the bedroom, an emergency exit, a really nice um, nightstand here as well. And then you'll also see that we have the same idea here in this mid bath. So the mid bath is um, a little bit different in terms of its construction. So you'll see we have the radius here where this is more of like kind of a hexagon style. Um, but you still have your adjustable shower head. Uh, you still have your two soap washes. You don't have as much of a seat in the Valencia, if that's important to you. Um, and then the other difference that you'll see here, so still these same fantastic medicine cabinets, right? Really attractive overhead lighting. Lots and lots of room here. Nice uh, solid surface countertops. Lots of storage down below. Uh, but you don't have that porcelain potty. You've got um, the pump potty as opposed to the one that has um, the macerator, the dual macerator. So a little bit different there in terms of how your flush system works. You don't have the eco flush and the full flush. So um, similar, you know, execution, just a different porcelain toilet, um, but still nice size. And this is just one of those differences that you see. And you, of course, you still have your fantastic fan as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and Jody, if you want to pan through, take a look at the walking space we have here in the front. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the slide for us while we're doing this. And I really had to sit down this morning and take a look at, you know, some of the differences. Uh, because very honestly, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, um, these are both really fantastic offerings on the marketplace much better than most of the other manufacturers competing in this segment. Um, so we get a lot of people that are looking for uh, something under 40 feet. That is one of the benefits of the Valencia is that it's actually under 40 feet. So if you're, that's important to you, I think that that's worth noting. As I mentioned earlier, your washer and dryer stack are still available. They're still here. They're just inside of the RV, uh, inside of the galley. So a little different location. Uh, pros to that, if you're doing your laundry, you know, um, it's not in the bedroom. I guess you could do it while you're sitting here in the galley while you're going down the road. We do a lot of our laundry while we're in motion. Um, I do like having it next to the bed because it's kind of nice to be able to fold everything. Um, but it would be a little more roomy to be able to do it from here. And then I don't know if you can see how or hear how solid this door is, but really solid pocket doors. In the, Veren in the Vol Verona, not the Valencia, in the Verona, you're going to have a full length uh, mirror here that's already mounted. You could always mount your own. Um, you'll also notice that there's a little bit of a difference in the way that these, um, these tables are set up, that they're both going to be convertible booth dinettes. So you're still going to be able to put them down, put your cushion in between. Uh, but you'll notice that you have a nice big window here where on the Verona, you're going to have a bank of cabinets the whole way down. So you have a little bit less cabinet space but you still have some really good storage overhead here as well. Okay, so let's talk about the differences in the kitchen. So uh, in the kitchen, you're going to be running a three burner propane uh, uh, stove off of your 20 gallon propane tank versus uh, an all electric coach. The other thing that's different is the way that this coach is heated. So you're going to have a furnace uh, that's running off of propane versus a hydronic system. So a little bit different there as well. And then I'll show you the difference between the refrigerators. So it's still 18 uh, cubic foot capacity. Um, one's just a, maybe a little more decadent than the other. And then you'll note here that we have a little less cabinet space. We don't have that, you know, when you lose that, you know, that two feet, you, you don't have that extra um, cabinet space here, but still a lot of cabinet space. This, of course, is your fuse panel. Um, if you're looking for a really specific video on this coach, Grant uh, Russell did a fantastic video last week uh, on Friday of this coach. So you can always tune in for that. And then I'll just show you the rest of this cabinet space here. So just a little bit shorter, about 12 inches shorter overall. And then I can actually, I brought my measuring tape. We can measure the difference in that um, cabinet space. And really, I think, so if we go end to end, a 
I'm going to go ahead and say this is about 69 inches, and I'll measure the other one when we get over there as well. So as you can see, you're still going to have two air conditioning units, still have heat pumps up atop. Like I said, the difference really there is going to be the furnace. And I want to pull this out because I want to make sure I got those uh, initial measurements correct for us. So GCWR, GBWR differences. So 34,300 pound uh, gross vehicle weight rating on the Verona with a 60,000 pound GCWR versus 33,000 pounds. So really similar versus a 46,000 pound GCWR. 12,000 pound towing capacity versus a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, both of these are going to have the 72 by 74 RV king bed. And then also we're going to have uh, the same front entrance where we have our television up here. Uh, we're also going to have a sound bar up front as well. Um, and then we're also going to have that really fantastic bunk storage area. I'm sorry, bunk over cab area up here as well. Uh, one of the differences with this bunk over cab, this is maybe a little more generous in terms of its overall height and the depth that it goes into, but there's no uh, skylight here. So we'll take a look at that difference as well. Uh, both of these still can pull into place. Um, both still have a nice ladder. Both still have a television up top, a 24 inch TV in the bunk over cab area. Um, now let's talk a little bit about some of the differences here in the chassis. So one of the things that's really nice about both of these coaches, and you'll see we have the equalizer system. We've got the hydraulic leveling jacks on today. Um, same air brake. Uh, you've got a 6.7 liter ISB versus an 8.9 liter ISL. So both of these have 360 horsepower in 2022. Um, in 2021, this engine is actually rated at 350 horsepower. So horsepower is really not the differentiating factor here. The difference in these engines um, with that displacement being you know, 8.9 liters versus 6.7 is going to be in foot pounds of torque. So torque is off the line. Torque is up a hill. Torque is pulling something heavy. Torque is the powerhouse behind uh, your, your pulling power. So for those of you that are flat towing you know, a car, either one of these are going to be fantastic. For those of you who might have something a little heavier, maybe a bigger uh, trailer, maybe a nice big boat, anything along those lines, you're going to want to look at your torque ratings, and your torque rating is going to be 800 foot-pounds of torque on the ISB, which is this coach, versus uh, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque on the ISL, which is the, which is the Verona. Um, another differentiating factor worth, me worth mentioning for certain, um, both are going to have the Garmin um, navigation system, but you'll notice here we don't have the mobilized system, and I know you probably can't see it from across the way, but there's a camera pointing at us in that Verona across the way. Um, so lane tracking, uh, adaptive cruise control, um, all of those features that are uh, standard in the 2022 Verona are not optional on the Valencia. So if you want those more enhanced safety systems, you're going to need to move into that next level of coach. And again, it's just a few feet longer, but there are some differences um, in, that, in that regards between the two. Um, another difference for me is I really like to have an engine brake. So not having an engine brake is something worth noting. Um, it's not a huge difference um, or a huge deal. Uh, you still have, of course, great brakes. This is um, a very popular RV uh, comparably to some of the others. Oh, she's going to be mad at me because I've got my, uh, I've got my levelers up. But um, the engine brake is definitely something worth noting. Um, you're going to have heated exterior mirrors on both, power mirrors on both. You're going to have a nice little cubby to put your stuff. Um, air horn on both, um, Allison transmission, six speed transmission on both. Um, you're also going to have your nine volt outlet for your, um, for your radar detector. Somebody called me today. He said, yeah, I got to get my radar detector installed. And I was, I was like, oh gosh, okay. And he said, Katie, I'm making fun of you because last time you had mentioned putting a radar detector in an RV, you said, if you're using a radar detector in your RV, you're probably driving too fast. And you know what? I totally agree with that. Um, okay, so seats are really, really nice. Um, they're going to have armrests on both sides. They're going to be the air ride. They're both going to be swivel. Uh, you've got a curtain that covers the whole front on both of these RVs, which is a super important feature. Um, so overall, really, really nice uh, accoutrement in terms of how this cab is finished. And if you haven't compared this model uh, to some of our competition, you know, I just, I really encourage you before you buy anything you really need to make sure you take a look at a Valencia because 
uh, in this segment, there's not another RV that is nearly as nice as this RV. Um, so now we're going to go down these stairs, and you'll notice that we have, again, solid wood handrail right here. Um, here we've got our battery disconnect. We've got a fire extinguisher. I've got my step override. So a lot of very similar features uh, in this RV to the um, to the Verona. And I have the uh, awning out on this, just so we can see. So awnings are going to be really similar. LED lights, full extension. Uh, both of these are going to run off of the Firefly system. So in other words, I can operate this RV. Um, oh, do we have a question? OK. I can operate this RV uh, with my phone and the Vega Mira um, system for both the Verona and the Valencia. So in other words, if I want to put my slides out or control my uh, awning, or if I want to turn my lights on, turn my temperature up or down, start my generator, I can do all of this with my Firefly app on my phone uh, for both coaches. You're going to see that there's a little bit of difference in terms of overall base storage. So not quite as much storage, of course, when you're shorter. You don't get as much storage. but still like super, super ample. So even though we're talking about less storage, it's really important to understand that less is still, uh, let's see, we get 22 inches by 27 deep, actually 28, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a cut back just for the, um, for the seals here. Again, just right up to 28 right here, 27 is the inside. But so huge, huge storage here. Uh, this is going to be about 55 inches long. So if you want to know how long that door is, that's going to be just about the same, maybe a few inches shorter. And then height-wise, these are just under 28 inches, about 27 inches high. Uh, but you'll see we still have this really fantastic uh, dual latch system here. So really solid uh, closing and opening. And then this one's just a little deep. You'll notice here we've got our slide locks. This is if you've got the slides in while you're driving, you put your locks in place. Uh, we never used ours, but if you'd prefer to use yours, you're welcome to. Now uh, this is a, just a little bit deeper here. So this is about 39 inches deep here. Um, and then the, if you go to this little lip here, it's about 23 inches. Um, but so really, really nice deep slide if you've got something a little bit longer. There is an overhang there. So you've only got about nine inches of that overhang. And again, about 55 inches long from the inside to the inside. Watch out for that slide, Jody. All right. So as you'll see on both of these models, you're going to have windows in the bunks that you can see from the outside. When we go around the other side of the Verona, you'll see those as well. Another great compartment here. As you can see here, you've got your quick connect for your propane tank. So if you want to run that out, so you can use that 20 gallon tank for a fireplace or for a barbecue. And then, of course, there's that seal. You just twist that off and open that up. And this bay is going to be a little bit shorter. This is going to be just at about 48 inches uh, long, but the same depth as the first bay and the same height as well. And then same thing here. These are going to both be about the same length. So this one's going to be about 40. This is about 43 inches long. And then again, that same depth, which I think we came up with is, yeah, about 27 inches deep. So really nice storage here underneath. And then in the back, you've got your receiver. And again, this is a 12,000 pound weight rating, but you still have your seven pin connector. Um, you'll also note that what Renegade likes to do is, so we have this fiberglass end cap in the back. It's two separate pieces so that if you do have any kind of oopsie or accident, you're not replacing this entire end cap. You can just replace the bumper on its own. Um, here in the back, you're going to have a 36 foot uh, power cord and on a power reel as well. This is an optional feature. You've also got your surge protector. And they will both come with a 30 amp adapter for you as well. And um, nice location in the far back gives you really easy access. Usually the parks are going to have your power source towards the back. And both of these are going to have an 8,000 watt or 8 kilowatt Odin quiet diesel generator. Um, 
And you can start this again from your, either your phone app or you can start it from, your, uh, from the coach itself right here on the outside. A diesel fueling station. So one of the things, both of these coaches are going to have 100, 100 gallon fuel capacity. Both of them have saddle tanks. Uh, but it's odd, you know, the Valencia actually has a 10 gallon death tank where the Verona, which is the larger coach, actually only has a six gallon death tank. So that's another one of those like small differences. Um, we tend to fill ours up every time we stop it at the gas station anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference to us, but it's worth noting for sure. Um, all of, uh, both of these RVs are going to have a whole house water filter, and you're also gonna have, um, again, this, this is, so this is actually a water jet that they used to, to uh, actually uh, carve out the, the inscriptions on this panel. So these will not go away. They're not printed on there. Um, they're going to be there for the long for the long haul. Really nice water system. A uh, place for your air filter on the left. Uh, you've got your low point drain, and of course. You know, black tank dump, gray tank dud, you've got a black tank wash as well. So both of these coaches have really, really good uh, sewer bays for sure. And then also you're going to have 75 gallon gray and black tanks on both the Verona and the Valencia. And both of these are going to have heat strips on them. So this is, uh, these are both going to be very good coaches in all weather. I would venture to say that the hydronic heat is going to be a little bit better if you're running uh, the Verona only in that that hydronic heat can run on a diesel pump um, or a diesel heat pump that's coming off of the coach's diesel tanks where this is running off of a furnace with 20, with 20 gallons of uh, propane one of the considerations you'll have is that you might have a little longer staying power when you're running off of diesel and hydronic heat versus running off of your furnace and using that gas so uh, definitely a little bit of a difference there but still very much all-weather coaches here's your propane tank And then here you'll see that this coach does have the lithium ion battery upgrade. So this has got three lithium ion batteries, uh, just under 800 amp hours of, of charge so, or of storage. And this also has the three 175 watt solar panels. So that's gonna be the same on both of these coaches. Like I said, by buying a Valencia, you're not really like sucking it up. It just really comes into certainly a little bit nicer vehicle, but this is a fantastic offering. Uh, here's that def tank, again, 10 gallons. And then you want to take a look at these seats here. So uh, the Freightliner custom chassis that is um, ordered by Renegade for this coach is really, really nice. And you'll notice Freightliner is going to do the same thing where you've got really good, easy entry points uh, to get into this coach on both of these offerings. You're also, again, going to have armrests on both sides which is really important here's your swivel right here as well so just really really nice uh, swivel seats again on both of these coaches nice cabin um, you've got your uh, trailer brake right here already integrated and then both of these have really good access to the to the front so one of the reasons people like to get super seats is because they can get in and out of these coaches really easily while they're on the road and that is going to be the same for both of these. But as you can see here, here's that beautiful Cummins engine, that 6.7 liter Cummins built on this Freightliner chassis. Um, really easy access here as, as what you'll see over here when we go to the Verona as well. So very easy to open, very easy to operate. You've got cameras uh, for left and right hand turn on both of these coaches. Uh, this coach has the optional caliber 9 grill an American wheel racing package so these these American uh, racing wheels are only available on the Verona they're not available on the on the Valencia but I carry these uh, wheels in, in inventory and we can add them to either one of these coaches so you'll see here definitely a little more beefy engine a little bit bigger if you will but still very very similar all in in that, you know, you've got that Freightliner married to the Cummins, really easy access, uh, you know, to different fluids, whether it be, you know, checking your oil, uh, changing out your windshield washer fluid, 
And then right here up top, you'll see there's that mobilize. And then down here, here's your on-guard collision mitigation system. So as you can see here, you don't have those features here in the front of the Valencia where you have them in the front of the Verona. But you can also see that you've got maybe a little more bulbous cab overhead here. And this one's maybe a little more aerodynamic with that window in it. But of course, that's going to mean that it's cutting into some of your space as well. Uh, so the Verona is going to be a dual fuel. Uh, so you've got a fueling station here as well as on the other side. So you've got those two tanks and access to both. I'm going to open that door for you, Jody. Let me just pop this open real quick. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to have that locked. But as I mentioned earlier, so both of these are going to be swivels. Um, really, really nice, easy entry points into both of these cabs. Um, and then I'll show you underneath the cabs as well. So we'll, we'll just start this one from the outside and work our way back in. So a little bit more storage up here in this first bay. Same television system here. Really not losing a lot. Same awning system. Just a little more storage when you gain those extra few feet. Uh, this is a, oh, I don't have my tape measure. This is a pretty different level of uh, depth here. And I'm sure I did this video two weeks ago last, uh, not this past Monday, but the Monday before. So I did uh, definitely show the inside of this. If you need measurements, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to get them for you. I know they're really useful when you're actually going camping and trying to buy your RV and get loaded up. So let's go ahead and go on the inside of this one and we'll finish up on the outside today. But as you can see, very similar um, level of finish on both of these coaches. Really beautiful uh, paint uh, work done. Nice uh, step. Again, we have our equalizer leveling system on. So you can go ahead and go in first. I'll follow you. Um, we're going to have a house control right there. We've got those same great steps with the storage underneath. Fire extinguisher here as well. Um, as you can see here, we've gone up to a Samsung television, but still that same sound bar. And again, bunk over cab in both of these models. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, just a little less depth before this starts to drop down. So maybe a little uh, more aerodynamic, but you get that nice window there. And then curtains the whole way around the front. A uh, little bit of a difference here. We talked about this briefly in the other one. Here's that Wabco system. Again, that's going to be your distance control for cruise control. But then having that high and low engine brake is a big deal. Um, so same system here where you've got places to keep all your stuff up above. And then you'll notice that on the Verona we've got heated seats. So we like them heated seats. Heated seats is good. But really nice chairs on both. Um, so Jody, if you want to go ahead and turn around, walk towards that bathroom again. Again, folks, this is this coach... Um, and this coach is is closed, so this is as much room as uh, you can expect to have with a coach going down the road, which is pretty amazing. Um, now we talked a little bit about this, so your washer and dryer is no longer up here; uh, it's here in the back. But what's nice about this is, as you can see, so even when this is closed, I do prefer to do my laundry in the back here. Um, it is nice that you have a little bit of a window back here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this slide for us. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this rear slide. So really similar layout, right? So three doors on the right. Uh, you've got your three uh, tall wardrobe. You've got the same little holder for your DVD player or Blu-ray player. Uh, you've got that same, you know, nice countertop. Uh, this is the cracked pepper interior. So this is, um, or not cracked pepper, but this is uh, the gray mist interior, which has got the dark countertop. But you can have the light countertops on either one of the models. You don't have to go with this gray. Uh, we talked briefly about how these are a little bit different. You'll notice that they're not quite as tall uh, because you've got your window here. But again, we mentioned briefly that extra set of uh, nightstands that are up above, which is kind of handy. And then you only have one down here on the left-hand side. You don't have one on either side because of that washer and dryer being there. 
Um, so if that matters to you, hey, there's a difference. Um, one of the things I think um, that we don't cover a lot in these uh, videos is how important um, having something where you can close these doors is. It's really nice that you have this available option on the Verona um, because if you are not using it for children predominantly, uh, it's important to note that you can take these out if you don't want them here, but if you do have gear in here, it is nice to have something that closes. And of course, this can actually pop up and you can make this whole entire uh, clothesline or this whole entire um, hanging rack, a full length hanging rack. So if you are doing stuff, I don't know, maybe you're like a figure skater or you, I don't know, do ballroom dancing professionally you could have an entire full-length closet in this coach. Uh, again, this is a really heavily equipped Verona. It has just about everything you can get. Oh, there we go. Uh, both of them, again, with the extra, or with the windows for the bunks that do open. Both have the TVs. Um, the drawers on these are a little bit different. You don't have three drawers, but you have bigger drawers. Um, so I don't know if that really matters. I guess I'm kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. Uh, and then you have a little drawer over here. So there's a little one. So you've got two big and then one little. Again, just a little extra space. And then we talked about this as well. Again, the potty is just a little different. Same porcelain feature, just not this eco, normal, and uh, empty flush. So this is just the difference right here versus having to do the pump. And then I like this, it's kind of nice to have your overhead storage, but still, same fantastic cabinetry. Um, lots and lots of room. Really nice medicine cabinets. So if you're comparing and contrasting and the Valencia is just a better fit for your budget, don't feel bad. This is a fantastic offering by Renegade. Uh, two drawers instead of the one, a little bit bigger counter space again when you get a little bit more room of course you get things a little bit bigger um okay so we talked about the shape of the shower being a bit different one of the benefits of the shower is that you can uh, sit down to shave your legs or wash your feet and then also that you can put your children in here when they're naughty and then keep them inside until you leave your campsite and i'm just kidding don't do that to your kids that's not i'm sure you would get in trouble katie told me one of the best features of this coach. Um, okay, so another notice, a noticeable difference is gonna be that you do have the same snap system on both of these doors. You've got these really super solid, heavy duty, really well built, uh, beautiful uh, doors separating the bedroom from the bunk area, from the galley, um, but they're darker. So uh, the Spice Brandy is just a little darker. Um, you'll also note that you've got a three door refrigerator just a little bit bigger um same cubic footage just laid out differently so this is not as deep it's more shallow but it's got more shelves it's a little more tall and then it has a nice ice maker down below so really nice freezer system here as well um, we did get rid of the handles after 2021 um, so that you don't have those to walk into and then we talked briefly about this in the other coach. You get this extra 12 inches of space. Oh, I don't have my tape measure. I promise you, this is longer. So it's, it's, it's a pretty good size longer, um, but this is a big deal for me. Um, if you are gonna be out on the road a little bit longer, I loved my drawers in my Verona. Um, we just kept so much stuff in here. So it is a really nice pantry. Um, soft clothes, once again, for everything. Um, we also talked a little bit about the three burner on propane versus the hydronic heat. So you've got a true induction cooktop. Um, okay, so where does propane versus all electric come into play in this, in this scenario? Um, I can put a paper towel down on this burner and put a pot of water on it and boil it and it's not going to catch on fire. If I put a paper towel down on a propane burner and turn on that burner so I can boil water it's going to catch on fire so for me it's definitely one of those safety features um, I think that that's something really worth noting uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and show you yeah you can take a look to it if you'd like I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to settings I'm going to go to my mobile app 
I'm going to find this little Mira right here, it's a 702, and I'm going to hit connect. It's going to ask me, ask me to authenticate. Um, it's going to be O, oh, let's see, O, O, one, two, three, four, authenticate. And then I can actually extend my slides either by doing it here on my control panel, I've got two of these in this coach, or I could go here and push this button and extend my slide on my phone. Now, this is an app that is available on both of these units, uh, hugely beneficial. Um, one of the differentiating factors in this marketplace between the Renegade and the Numar product is that you don't have Firefly on the Numar product, you have Silverleaf. And you cannot do this from outside of your coach. I can actually put these slides out with my phone by holding this button down from outside of my coach and watch to see if I'm going to hit a tree. So if my kids are sleeping, you know, maybe we've rolled in late and I want to get everything set up without having to wake anybody up or, you know, you know, not, not to disturb anyone, or maybe I'm by myself. I can do all of that with my phone because I can be out to the coach watching to make sure I've got good clearance for trees. Um, because it's not always what you can see out the window. Sometimes it might be something that's above you as well. Uh, we talked briefly also about how this little armrest here just has less of a play here. There's no, there's no curve here. So a little more depth in terms of seating capacity, really not a huge difference, but since we're covering differences today, and then you can see how these tables both go down, so they both convert. And then up above, we talked about this bank of cabinets. So this is a big difference. I mean, if you are somebody uh, like us, um, you've got a queen size convertible bed. You've got uh, you can sleep two here. You can sleep two here. You can sleep two there, and you can sleep two in that king bed. I mean, you can have eight people in this coach. It's really nice to have the extra storage up above, especially if you've got you know a bunch of kids. They could each have their own cubby, or you could put you know containers in there, put their names on there where they could keep their stuff. So, you know, if you've got phone chargers, you know maybe it's markers, crayons you know, iPads, whatever it is, everybody could have their own container. And you've got this huge, you know, bank of eight cabinets above here. Um, both of these have a really, really nice, durable furniture to them. Um, you'll notice here in this kitchen, though, we've got a little extra space. So, granted, I still have my same control system here for my fuses, etc. right? The breaker box, all of that. I have this extra cabinet here. And then just a little more space. So really, really nice long countertops in both. Uh, lots of good kitchen room in both. Double door. So just a little more storage in this coach. Both of these are going to have convection and microwave ovens. Um, so very similar there. Um, all of them, uh, all of our RVs are going to have both MCB day and night shades, um, so that's important. Uh, both of these uh, coaches that we looked at today have the lithium-ion battery pack as well as the three 175 watt solar panels. Um, both of them are going to have a sound bar that you can use to play surround sound. The TV on, on both of these coaches is going to be mounted over the door, so a lot of really good similarities. Um, a big difference for me, Jody, if you just turn to your right. There we go, right here. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So uh, this is nice. I get to see how I look, make sure that my little heart shoes are good for Valentine's Day, all those things that I get ready to go in the morning because I've got a full-length mirror. As I mentioned earlier, you could probably install one on the Valencia, but it's nice that it's already ready, ready to go for you and comes standard in the Verona. Um, so I think that we really have kind of covered most of it on the inside here. Um, like I said, we do a lot of nice in-depth videos. Um, I want to go outside and show you the base storage on the, uh, on the outside as well. And let me just make sure that my, pair, my app is paired. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this slide in with my phone. I know we talked about this on the other unit, but again, there's your fiberglass uh, end cap is going to be two-piece 
once again. And then you've got here your 20,000 pound towing capacity. So much bigger hitch. Uh, you also have your Voyager system here to connect your stacker if you want to. So you've got a camera system in the back. Got your 7 pin connector. Really nice Renegade mud flap underneath. Um, and then as you'll see, Jody, I just did this with my phone from outside. We've got this whole side closed right now. Beautiful paint job. Rear view monitor in the back. And then, once again, similar capacity in the rear of these coaches. Both of these have a 36 foot power cord on a power reel. Uh, that is an optional feature. I would definitely recommend always getting the power uh, cord because the power cord reel really takes up a lot less space because it's nice and tidy. It's also just not as dirty. Uh, again, same 8 kilowatt or 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. You can start it from outside or inside um, or on your app. Um, we talked about the American racing wheels. Nice option. They're not standard. You don't have to have them if you don't like them. Then you know that there's kind of a mixed uh, review out there in the world. Um, very similar water bay. So again, your sewage bay is all, you know, carved in here. Really, really nice power uh, city water hose reel, whole house water filter. Same 75 gallon black water and gray water tank. Both of these coaches have a 150 gallon fresh water tank. Um, so big difference there. Uh, the hydronic fluid that you're using for your aqua hot system is really important to have if you do have an all electric coach because if you don't have uh, enough diesel in your fuel tanks or if you don't have enough hydronic fluid, your heat won't work and your tank with hot water heater will not work. Um, so this Aqua Hot 250D has a reservoir right here on the left and you always want to make sure you have an extra gallon of fluid. If you tell me that you watched my video when you come in to pick up your coach, I will give you a free bottle of Aqua Hot juice. I'll probably give you one uh, for free anyway, even if you didn't watch my video just because um, they don't deliver that stuff by Amazon in the middle of the forest really quickly. So. Uh, much nicer to have it on hand. A little extra storage once again up here. And again, really weird that this thing has a six gallon def tank versus a 10. I'm sure that there's something that has to do with construction and room for that. Um, but same chassis and house battery setup. Three lithium ion batteries um, along with two chassis batteries. And then again, dual fill as opposed to single fill. So. In the Valencia, the, the fuel is on this side in the back and the dev is in the front. In this coach, you could actually pull into a, uh, on the M2106 chassis, if you pull into a diesel fueling station for a truck stop, you can fill both sides and your dev at the same time, which is really handy. And then, again, I think we covered this on the other side, but really nice setup here, really easy access, great, you know, great access to your cab. Um, as you can see here, we've got our left and right hand uh, cameras for turn signal indicators on both. Uh, the awning is going to be the same on both. Both of them come with a really, really nice paint job. Um, so this is kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have questions, uh, please let me know. Again, you know, 20,000 pounds versus 12,000 pounds in terms of towing capacity. You know, really, really nice offerings on both segments um, and available here at TransWest. We also carry Numar Superstars and Supreme Airs and a lot of other fun things. So whenever you're ready to come out and go shopping, please come out, uh, you know, let us show you around. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. I hope you have a really fantastic Valentine's Day. I hope you spend it with people that you care about. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you anytime you want to come in, test drive, give me a call with any questions, and thanks so much for tuning in.